Attack of the Giant Leeches. This is a bad one. Directed by Bernard Kowalski in 1959, this black and white film features Ken Clark as Steve Benton, a warden who's hot on the trail of a mysterious disappearance in the lake. Because apparently there's giant leeches in there. Well, the title told us that already, so I'm not really surprised. It's a very dumb motion picture with a subplot about a married couple that's on the rocks. He tries to prove to his guy pals that he can be a strong, tough man who wears the pants of the relationship, and she just brushes him off. He then threatens to one day get her, you know, domestic abuse, always a great dynamic to put in these films. It's pretty sexist, and then she cheats on him with his best friend, because of course that would happen, <laughs> what is this, some kind of soap opera? And he chases them in the woods for what seems to be forever. This movie only lasts 62 minutes, yet this chase feels longer than that. He forces them into the water, where they're taken by the leeches, of course. These leeches look terrible, seriously, this is the worst special effects to be in any of these movies yet. And that includes the monster from Night of the Blood Beast. This is Roger Corman level of effects. Oh, well of course he's an executive producer. Give me a break, he was probably in charge of the whole mess. Oh, and you're probably wondering what happened to the lead guy. Well, to be honest, Ken Clark's performance is actually the only solid thing about this movie. I enjoy his good guy persona. It kind of reminds me of something like Christopher Reeve as Superman or Chris Evans as Captain America. I know, that's a stretch of a comparison to make, but but I think he's just a chill, well-maintained actor. Everyone else? Well, uh, the second best actor in the movie is the guy in the leech suit, so do what you will with that. The warden decides to scuba to the bottom of the lake and finds an underground lair that the leeches drag the victims to. The victims are still alive, but they're consistently being used for blood harvesting, and when they fall into the portal they end up back in the lake and they flow up except now they're dead but why i mean sure they weren't in the best health but they were still alive so i don't think they would die right away when they get back to land ah, who knows the science of this movie is more lenient on fantasy a fantasy which has no logic and no fun they blow up the lake and i guess that's the end of it never an explanation of where the leeches came from or any further development of our lead just a quick dumb idea that was executed with no care or attention this is one of the lesser films on this box set but being only 62 minutes long it's hard to argue that it wasted my time Thanks for watching the video, a special thanks to Ryan for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to join him and get early access to certain videos and have your name stamped on the end of videos and even request reviews monthly, then please click on the Patreon link and thanks for the support.